Hello friends, you are all welcome to this video. In the previous video, we studied the volume of a cylinder. Today, in this video, we shall see some interesting examples based on this. Thomas, your bottle is very unique. How much water can you fill in it? I am trying to find out the same manas. But how are you going to find that out? By math. Let me explain it to you. It's math time. It's math time. Look, my bottle is cylindrical and the amount of water we can fill in it is equal to its capacity. But because the thickness of the bottle is negligible, we say that the amount of water in the bottle or the capacity of the bottle or the space occupied by the bottle, in other words, is equal to the volume of the bottle. Therefore, its capacity is equal to the volume of the bottle. Now, let me quickly tell you the formula of volume of a cylinder. Hmm, the volume of any cylinder is equal to the area of its base multiplied by its height. And if the radius of the base of the cylinder is R and the height of the cylinder is H, then we can also write the formula of the volume of the cylinder as pi R square H. The radius of the base of my bottle is 3 cm and the height is 21 cm. Let me solve this equation by writing them in the formula by replacing the values of R and H. By solving it in this way, we can see that the volume of the cylindrical bottle is 594 cubic centimeters. And Thomas, we know that 1 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 milliliter. That is, 594 cubic centimeters will be equal to 594 milliliters. Oh wow! We can fill 594 milliliters or 0 0.594 liters of water in your bottle, which is slightly more than half a liter. Finally, we managed to find the volume of this bottle. Let us quickly return to our world. I will buy a similar bottle for you. In this example, we have seen how we can find solutions to some of our daily life problems by finding the volume of a cylinder. In the next video, we shall see some misconceptions related to this.